Time flies. We're already four weeks into MW3's life cycle, meaning we can finally unlock our Golden River weekly challenge camo and a new aftermarket part. But just in case you don't know, every single week they've been adding in a few challenges here that you can do in either zombies or multiplayer, get to pick the mode. And for each week after completing five of these challenges, you get one aftermarket part and a progress towards the camo. Now that we're four weeks in, we've already unlocked the Jack Raven, the Jack Nightshade, the WSP Akimbo, and now the Tack Eradicator, as well as getting our Golden River camo. So we'll be testing out our Tack Eradicator today and see what the Golden River camo looks like. In case you've never seen that menu before with this game's Hulu UI, you just have to click these six little dots right here, and then you have to go to the Challenges tab, and Weekly will be right here. Oh, and my mistake, this isn't even an aftermarket part. This is a whole new weapon. What are the camo challenges for this? 250 kills, the usual, 10 mang, kills 10 kills without reloading 10 times and 250 kills with rare or higher rarity those aren't bad at all but i do have to get it leveled up though that's the hardest part i guess let's hop in and try it out all right let's see what this gun's all about so right off the bat this is a pretty light lmg puts the light into lmg and it's base mag like i have no attachments unlocked for this is 75 that's not bad at all seems to be killing zombies pretty all right too but these are tier one zombies just don't really count for a whole lot but let's go ahead and pack a punch it with this crystal i got here Oh, we get 150 bullets in the base mag. Not terrible. And I'm sure we'll get larger mag options as we get this thing leveled up. But now that zombies is in the weapon XP recession, that might take a little bit. A good way to test this base damage, though. Let's see if we can take out an elite with it. Do a quick bounty. There's our first level. Now, where's our first mimic at? Why don't you come down here? I just want to talk. There he is. There's the man in the hour. Already kind of cooking him. Kind of got me in a corner, though. We don't need to stop shooting. And he's dead in less than a clip. Easy enough. Well, I guess let's just keep doing some contracts and killing some zombies. We'll see if we get any more levels. Oh, there's our camo. We already got 250 kills with it and seven levels. Okay, we're at level 12 now, which should only be like a level or two away from when the XP rates get like cut off like severely. But I think now that we are at level 12, we should be a high enough level to start working on our Mangler camo. So let's try to do that. And the best way to get that done is to do an escort contract. Is there any nearby? Oh, right over here. All right, I can only really get three Manglers, so we only got Got six minutes left in this game. I'm heading to the Dr. Jensen mission. Please don't come with me. This is not the extraction you think it is. This is not where you want to go. You're going to fuck this whole thing up for me, aren't you? All right, well, welcome to the ride. Psych. I'm jumping out. Enjoy. I'll wait for the next one. All right, let's try this again. Unless this person's trying to get on. Are you kidding me? I waited all this time just for somebody else to come over here or leave. Skedaddle. That's what I thought. All right, let's get out of here now before somebody tries to hitch a ride. Please, please. They're running this way. Go, go, go. Take off. Go. Now. Leave! No, stay back! Get off! Shoo! Skedaddle! Am I gonna have to jump off again? Yep. Let's hope another one shows up before the storm does. They're making this leveling thing more complicated than it needs to be. All right, third time's the charm. Please, nobody else, try to join me. I right, leave immediately. Leave now. No time to waste. Oh, let's go. I would not be surprised if somebody somehow flew into here. Okay, we're good. And now the exfil's here, Dr. Jensen. Get on. And I'm gonna farm out the rest of these levels. Oh, and there's our 10 kills without reloading 10 times. We might be able to get all of our camos besides our manglers done right here. We just need kills at uh, rare or higher rarity. And there's level 21. That should be max level. Uh-oh, that's level 22. So maybe 21 wasn't the max level for this. But now I'm almost positive that we got to be at our weapon XP limit for this game. Let me get out of here. Damn, we had 2,621 zombie kills that game. Oh, 22 is the max level. Okay, cool. So now we can fully kit this out. 150 round drum mag. Let's go. Got the nuts on it. But how close do we get on our mangler camo? So I still need six more manglers and 140 kills with this at rare or higher. That's fine. We can hop into another game. But we never checked out our event camo. I completely went right past it. That looks sweet. Let's throw that on. Ooh, take a look at this camo. This is sweet. This might be one of my favorites. But now that we got it fully leveled up, let's go ahead and do this escort contract and take out the rest of our manglers. And once we're done with that and we have all of our kills done with rare or higher, I'm going to go try this out on a mega abomination because this seems like it already does some pretty good damage. It was basically like one tapping zombies when it was pack a punch. Like it's a one tap headshot for the most part. I want to see what it does against a mega abomination. And this dude just took the escort. What's the deal with me trying to pick some escorts or any contract without somebody else grabbing them? It's like, I'll go into a game. I'm like, okay, I want to do cargoes. Somebody's going to snag the cargoes. I want to do spores. Somebody's going to snag the spores. It's like whatever contract I want to do, there's somebody else in the game also trying to do it. And they just so happen to spawn closer to the contract than I do. But we have an escort, a tier two zone. Let's try that out. But to do that, we're going to have to pack a punch and say goodbye to our camo. Goodbye, camo. 
And let me throw on all my perks. And I know you can keep the camo that you have on your weapon if you just like melee the pack punch machine, but they should have an option to do it when you're using these crystals. Because mainly whenever I'm grinding out camos, like I'll just use my crystal for the day. And I wish I could have just kept on our new event camo. All right, let's start up this escort and see if we get any manglers. Because the problem I had in our last game is that when I did a tier two escort, I was only getting disciples spawning in. It's the exact opposite of what we want. And it's disciples, damn it. So we can only do tier one escorts. I think tier two is only spawning in one mangler. Yeah, that's two disciples. All right, let me just finish this mission real quick. Oh wait, there's a mangler right there. Oh, let's not die though. Okay, fine. I have a self revive, we're good. I brain rotted it, of course. Brain rot only goes off at inconvenient times. Oh, and there's a 250 kills with rare hire. And we got a mangler over here. Please don't get brain rotted. All right, cool. Is that another mangler? Let's go. Let's go do another escort. What the fuck? The blood burner? I haven't seen this thing since launch day. This is a rare spawn. I'll take this. My character looks sweet as fuck on it too. It matches. Now let's see if I can do this contract and juggle using the bike. I don't want to lose this. Actually, hold on. Let me let my genius show. I can park it in front of it and it'll push it to my destination. At least until it turns. This is fucked up. Not a single mangler. But 45 disciples. Let's make our way back to tier 1 and do it. Uh, there we go. That's the mangler I've been looking for. And another one. We should be getting close. We got a sniper on top of this building here. I hope you don't try to steal this. So I think I just need like one more mangler kill. Oh no, he's right on top of our escort now. Please do not take this. I'll let you do most of the killing. Oh, I see the mangler shot. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill our mangler. There we go. Got him. No, he's going for our car. You stay back, bastard. I don't even think he was going for it. I'm just very paranoid. So we can't have more than like one or two manglers left. I'm sure we'll be able to find them in the tier three zone. But before we head there and get our pack of punch three, I've heard that this thing one shots the storm caller. So I'm gonna go see if that's true. All right, where's the guy at? Show yourself. There he is. Use the storm pulse, the aether pulse, go. Why is it not working? Can you not use it in here? And movement has been disabled on my fucking bike. Cool. All right, well, we just destroyed the coolest vehicle in the game. It must have patched it. Was it only disabled because it was shocked or is it actually broken now? Oh, it's actually broken. I'm gonna try something very risky, but maybe I can push it with a truck all the way to a gas station and repair it. I don't think it's going to work. All right, I'll take the L on this one. You win, Stormcaller. RIP, Mr. Bike. All right, let's grab Pack-A-Punch real quick. Take out a few manglers. And it's the Mega Abomination's turn. Only problem is, though, I only have one self-revive. Hopefully, we won't need to use it, but we all know I might. But there is another team here in the Tier 3 zone. They're all doing a stronghold right there. So maybe if I go down, they might help me out. I guess we'll see. Give me Pack 3. Let's try to find some manglers. There's a Mega Bomb. I'll be right with you, sir. Uh, maybe one will show up while we're fighting it. Fuck it. What's up, bastard? Oh, this is already doing a decent amount of damage to him. But he's fucking me up right back. I should have grabbed some more decoys before we started this. Of course, a disciple shows up and not a mangler. Every single time. I'm being cursed. I guarantee the opposite happens if I'm going for disciple kills. We already got a decent amount of his health gone, though. Let's keep that up. Oh, I couldn't escape the laser. I kept trying to dolphin dive behind this car and I just kept laying down. Okay, so no self-revives left. None. We go down here, we might be done. But I know this gun can get it. Oh, and he's shooting his laser again. We gotta run around him. It's like King bomb -Om. We got him close to like half health. Come on, get behind the building. Get behind the building. Get behind the building, please. Woo! Come on, let's pop his other mouth. It's close. It's there. Very, very low health. Come on. And we're in cover this time. Maybe I should stay around these cars. Oh, and he's so close to death. This other guy's helped me out a little bit. That's his head gone. And no, let's not die right here at the end. There we go. That's the rest of them. 
Beautiful. I'm getting this essence for it. No, nope. <laughs> he came in to steal the essence last second with a dick. I said I'm done. I'm leaving. I still haven't found all the manglers I need to kill. Back to a tier one escort, I guess. This run has just gotten so chaotic. I got distracted on a side quest. Barely made it out against that mega bomb. And we have just about four minutes to kill one or two more manglers and exfil to get gold. Let's hope this gives us enough manglers for us to finish. There's one right there. Is that it? Don't look like it. Why did I only get one mangler for this contract? Why am I getting camo cucked? The storm's already coming in. Uh, let's see if we can find uh, a mangler real quick, I guess. There's another escort contract right here, even though this is in the tier two zone. Let's roll the dice. Give me a mangler. Oh, there's one right there. Please be here. That was two of them, I think. Oh, thank God we got it. And there's another mangler right here. How come some of them spawn in nothing but them? And the other ones just spawn in disciples. Where's our Aether Storm at? We got a little bit of time. We might be able to finish this. Might as well get our reward since we're this far in. Okay, we completed it. No self revive for me, of course. Is there a shop nearby? So I can grab one on my way out right over here. Give me that self revive. Give me multiple. Give me all of them. Even though we can't take them all with us. I just want them for me. And there's literally no exfil besides the Dr. Jensen one. So we have to wait for final exfil. I shouldn't even put this out there because my commentator's curse gets me every single time. But I swear if somebody drops a jug underneath this exfil helicopter and I can't exfil and get gold, I'm going to be pissed. It's already been a shit show today. Everything bad that could have happened has happened. So I won't be surprised. At least this gun has been rock solid though. This thing's been shredding. It's been tearing. The only time I've ever done final exfil, I was the only person here. We already got somebody chilling here and somebody's all the way over here, just down, I think. So it's just me and you, buddy. And get me on here and get me out. I think this is everyone besides this dude. We're somehow still alive. Now we just have to sit here awkwardly for the next 80 seconds. Get us out of here, come on, time's up. Thank you. Thank God we made it out. And I swear if we don't have gold, I'm gonna be pissed. I just heard the sound. At least I hope that's the gold sound. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Well, here's a better look at our tack eradicator with our golden river camo. And it is such a nice weapon and even better camo, honestly. What a way to start out these weekly camo challenges, or I guess monthly since we had to do four weeks of them. But this is a high bar for the camos. I hope they keep it up with this and they don't, uh, Start doing some throwaway camos that just suck ass. And this is our Tack Eradicator with Golden Enigma on it. Still a very nice looking weapon, but now that the bar has been set with that camo, it makes Golden Enigma kind of look like shit. That was a bit of a clusterfuck, but we went ahead and got it done. We got it fully leveled up and all the way to Golden Enigma in just two games. Tactically three if you count the Dr. Jensen thing, but I don't. And the gun's pretty good. The camo's even better. All around, very good rewards for these weekly challenges. So if you don't already got these done, go ahead and knock them out because it's a very nice LMG. And I'm pretty sure this camo after a few weeks probably isn't going to be there anymore. So make sure you pick it up before it goes away. And hopefully they add in some more, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.